Hi, good morning, and welcome to the ZP Vlog and Podcast. So we do this vlog and podcast at, I want to say, approximately 8 a.m. every um, Sunday, and it's just really a wrap up um, on the news from ZP. Um, so I really will sort of jump straight into it and just talk about um, things that we've been up to this week. So it's been a really sort of busy week, um, really around webinars. So we did book some more webinars. Um, so Julie is at ZP, we really have a technology stack. You'll kind of hear this repetition of technology stack. And if I was really to sort of talk about this technology stack, I would say the first thing that you have to get right is actually the screen printed electrodes. So you have screen printed electrodes that become biosensors that attach to el electronics that make some connectivity with a bridge to the cloud and then in the cloud, you kind of store and process your data. That's the kind of the technology stack that we have at ZP. And making a technology stack that's robust is not an overnight um, effort. And it's one thing to develop it. That's then you've got to kind of um, test it, and then you've got to um, you've got to kind of use it and make sure that it's actually robust enough. Um, so sort of every time. So here we are. We have this technology stack. So part of that technology stack is that cloud system, which is called Julie. And it's not enough to say Julie is, and I've wrongly called it this in the past, a sort of data, a database. It's not. It's a data management system which you know has a data has databases in it. We can call upon data in this database, um, but it allows us to store the data, analyze the data, characterize the data, share the data, and actually pass the data on then through an API. So um, we do have a sort of. How do I put it? An entire stack of technology at ZP called um, the Julie, let's say, database. So, and it's part of the stack, I should say. So we're going to do a webinar on that on the 24th of October. We did do a webinar, and I will talk about that. And what I liked about the particular webinar was that, you know, we don't just have, you know, a monologue from one person. We actually bring in a kind of, you know, the team, let's say, um, that we that we have around this. Um we also have our Sense It All webinar also booked for October as well. So when I talk about that technology stack of electrodes and um, electronics and um, smartphones which have apps on them and then they kind of conduit up to the cloud, Sense It All is definitely um, part of that. And I would almost say kind of like the physical part of that, that you take a sensor, you put it in Sense It All, Sense It All does a measurement upon this and um, we send it to the cloud. So we are going to have some more webinars on the 25th of October. And um, if you're kind of interested in the Sense It All, then you can sort of sign up for those um, free webinars on the 25th of October. Um, and then I think we, what we're trying to say is I realise that at ZP now, that um, in November it will be our kind of ninth year of I don't want to say existing, that's a bit existentialist, but we'll, be, we'll have been around for nine years. And I've just realized how hard it is to actually, at this point, summarize ZP. So we've got Julian Sense It All, which is a distillation of a, a whole lot of capabilities at ZP. So I have kind of highlighted um, those on a single page so that, you know, people who contact us, I can kind of say, look, you know, this is how you can sort of find out about us um, at ZP. So we did do a webinar on um, Julie in, how do I say it, in um, September. It was just of recent. It was a, you know, well done to the guys. They did a really good job. You know, we talked about all aspects of Julie and we made a, let's say, a video about that. Um, so we do have um, the webinars that we did in September and we did do one on Julie. And then at the same time, or not the same time, the next day, we also did one on um, Sense It All as well. Mm -hmm. Um, I was really delighted with the amount of um, attendership we did get on Sense It All. I think people really kind of understand um, this is something quite significant. You know, this is how to go from idea to something quite tangible um, really quickly. I kind of, I think I said it in the webinar, this is, you know, to go from idea to minimally viable product in the space of three months with um, Sense It All is um, very possible. So. Thank you to all the team um, for helping with that particular webinar. Which then, you can see that you know we're, we're busy these days. Um, we're every Thursday 
at 8 a.m. London time. We then do a webinar really just focused on um, ZP kind of core technology of electrochemistry. People ask us questions every week. We answer questions every week. And um, we're going to have the next one on the 14th of September, which is super busy because this week on the 11th or 12th of September, we have our... Um, workshop on biosensors, wearable biosensors and IVDs. So there's definitely a workshop on the 11th and 12th of September. And on the 13th and 14th of September, um, we are having our S-Cubed Norway conference, our Scandinavia Sensor Summit conference, Norway, which is really about digitization for sustainable future. So um, great conference. And it, as you can see on the 14th of September, we also have to do a webinar as well. So I think it's fair to say at ZP, we do like to keep ourselves um, nice and busy. And that really brings me then through to the last thing. Now, I haven't discussed it this week, but um, I was at a conference um, this week. We were talking about um, pesticides and IPM. This is integrated pest management. It's kind of interesting, actually, because I realized the kind of my understanding of IPM integrated pest management is I've been going to this conference for a couple of years and now I think I'm starting to understand what this term IPM actually means. Um, and it's a, you know, it's definitely, a, let's say, interesting subject. And I, I realize speaking now, and I'm going to have to write a blog post about this because integrated pest management, um, you learn a lot from conferences. I love going to conferences. I learn a lot from listening to people. And, you know, I think it's clearly it's one of the best ways this is how we learn. It's called teaching and learning. Um, but somebody did say that when you use kind of, let's say, chemical pesticides or chemical herbicides, you will get the effect immediately. You know, so, you know, the you can spray something on there and you'll start seeing the crops kind of, or not the crops, sorry, I should say the herbicide um, die immediately. I think they kind of, you know, there's a broadleaf herbicide, the farmer comes in, sprays, and they, and they can see this effect. So they get an immediate kind of, feedback on the effectiveness of that but with with, with IPM you're kind of um, it's trying to be more organic and sustainable in nature and I can see that in part what's going on is that you know the, the farmer has to kind of start the process of this this is a process they have to start it early on so they have to kind of have belief and a will and not expect immediate results so um, quite let's say hard work for these farmers Anyway, there, I realized that many of the kind of herbicides, pesticides, um, there's one called um, Navluron, for example, they're all electrochemically active. So in fact, they do open themselves to analysis um, by ZP technology stack, including Sense It All. So if I was to summarize it, we had um, in the last week two important webinars for us, one on Julia and one on Sense It All. So one of them was kind of more hardware focused. The other one was more um, cloud focused. Those have now been rebooked also for October. Um, we're obviously going to do our webinar on Thursday, so we will answer technical questions that come in then. And then we were obviously at a conference this week on integrated pest management, which really dovetails really nicely into S3 or S cubed, our Scandinavia Sensor Site, Scandinavia Sensor Summit, which is sort of digitization for sustainable future. Um, so super busy week, but and this week super busy 11th and 12th um, workshop 13th and 14th conference and then friday um let's just say general meetings okay if you've got any questions for zp please don't hesitate to reach out to us um you know if they're technical questions you will find that your questions get answered in our weekly webinar okay thanks very much